So if our fat cells are so amazing, why are we always being told that fat is bad for us? And how much do we actually need? Well, I've come here to the MRC Epidemiology Unit at Cambridge University to find out. Arms just in from the side and relax. This is a dual energy X-ray absorptiometry machine, or DEXA for short, and it's going to measure how much fat is in my body and exactly where that fat is. Now let's check my body fat results with radiographer Richard Powell. So what am I looking at here? This is fat and muscles, organs. The red areas are high percentage body fat. So okay. we get it on the sides a bit mm -hmm. on most people, but you can see it's mainly green and your body fat percentage is approximately 25%, which puts you within the normal range. Too much body fat isn't good, but neither is too little. What would happen if I lost a lot of weight, if I took in too few calories, if I lost a lot of fat, what would then happen to my body and my health? You would have a limited amount of energy to go about your day. And for children, that could limit growth and lead to other health issues. So at the moment, I have a fairly healthy amount of fat on my body, but if that were to increase because I ate too many calories, that could lead to lots of different health problems. If you were to increase fat mass, if it would be around your arms and legs, that would be healthier than if you stored it around your abdomen, specifically in and around your internal organs. It's important to have some fat in our body, so let's examine it up close. So this is what fat cells would look like in someone who was living in a healthy way. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what fat cells would look like if somebody started to eat more junk food and to reduce their exercise. The number of cells is actually the same. It's just that the cells themselves get much, much bigger. We know that in children, if you eat too much and exercise too little, you can actually increase the number of fat cells. Um, and that's because your fat tissue is growing. It's really important because if you have more fat cells as a child, that can cause problems in adulthood. So you want to have the right amount of fat cells, but you also don't want them to get too big either. Some scientists believe that when our fat cells get too big, they can't take any more fat in, and what you get is fat in our other organs. So let me show you. This is a normal liver. If you're on a very unhealthy diet and you start to store fat in your liver, this is what it starts to look like. Wow. So each of those round white dots is fat. Fat like this inside your organs can stop them working properly. Fat is vital for every cell and every reaction in your body. Without it, your brain wouldn't work, your heart wouldn't work, you wouldn't stay warm and you wouldn't grow. But having the right amount is really important. The way you look after your body now, eating good fat as part of a balanced diet and getting lots of activity and exercise will mean that when you're an adult, you have the right number of fat cells and the right amount of fat to stay healthy for the rest of your life.